I am back with another process video. Today I am going to be using Pink Paisley's Bella Rouge collection for this layout. I've had this collection for quite some time and I seem to have an abundance of it. So today I am going to you do a little bit of mixed media. I'm putting this gesso on the page because I thought I was going to use some inks and I end up changing my mind. I don't end up using any inks at all. I'm using this pink polka dotted paper basically as my base to put my embellishments in my photo on. And I am going to ink all of the edges in, I believed I used Tim Holtz's black soot. So this is my 100th process video. Yay! You would think they would have gotten better, but not so much. They have not. <laughs> so I went ahead and cut these circles out of my silhouette. In fact, some of them aren't really circles. If you see the butterfly paper, they are more ovally than they are circles. So I'm inking the edges of those pieces as well. I am going to use a stencil with a Swiss cross. I believe it is from Echo Park and some modeling paste. Right there, I was matting my photo on that bow paper that is part of the Bella Rouge collection. I don't love the bow paper, so usually when I use it, it is for matting purposes. So I'm trying to arrange these in a way that I think I might like. I pulled out these border stickers and you can see them right there. There's the top row is butterflies and the bottom row is flowers. The very, very first D stash I ever bought, I think was probably a year or so ago, these were in them. I'm not sure who the maker is. They are kind of, they have a little bit of a rubbery feel to them and this is the first time I've used them and they're they're kind of neat so I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling out embellishments seeing what I might like to use I do end up using most of what I have already put down on this page at this point I did fussy cut some flowers out of one of the pages so when you see flowers pop up onto the page those are all ones that I had fussy cut out of a paper as well as some of the butterflies I fussy cut out. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the modeling paste in that stencil that I had previous talk, previously talked about and start making my Swiss crosses. So I've been in a little bit of a scrapbooking slump not even sl scrapbooking slump really, just a life slump. I've just been, uh, you know, kind of moody. I don't feel like doing anything, but I've been, still have been forcing myself to create things because I know that that slump will pass as well. You know, this too shall pass, right? So a lot of my, or some of my videos or my designs might come across as lacking, and they are. And it's just, it's where I'm at right now. So you have to excuse that because everybody goes through those, those times. So I have pulled out, that was just kind of a warning in for future videos. <laughs> so I went ahead, I'm going, I pulled out all the embellishments. I am figuring out where I want them down. The base is already laid out and it's glued down. And this is just the final. Right there, that acetate I put up at top says shine like a, and then there is a picture of a gem, so shine like a diamond. And I'm putting down that flower that was a fussy cut flower, as was that one. This butterfly in the final pictures, the one up at the top that is silver foiled, you can't really see it that much or that well because the sunlight was reflecting off of it. That silver heart that is over at the top left or middle left that is from a mombies sticker sheet that I think I only have a few more pieces of that to use up so that was pretty exciting to be able to use this right here I pulled out this Heidi swap sticker sheet and I am going to use two of the black and white striped butterflies on it So 
So as you guys know, I've been doing a spinning freeze and it's not going so good because it's, it seems like I'm on a spinning freeze and I want to shop more than ever. It is insane. So I'm thinking about quitting this spinning freeze. It'll probably go much better. So there I put down that Studio Calico rub-on. I don't remember what it says. I thought it was black and at the end of this video you'll see I'm looking at it and it's not black. It is brown and it does not look fabulous. I had put down a chipboard piece above the picture it says ooh la la and there was another acetate one that said ooh la la but you couldn't really see it because it was acetate so I tried to back that polka dotted paper behind it it's underneath that butterfly right down at the right of the photo and you can't tell it says ooh la la so I went ahead and put that other chipboard piece up there as well these are Emma Thickers and I just spelled out sweet Paris and that is going to be my title I'm not doing journaling on this this is a picture from our trip to Europe last September and I still have so many pictures to do, but there is a lot, a lot of journaling that I've already done. So I'm not really concerned with writing anything on here. A lot of the pictures I am putting in pocket pages and not really scrapbooking. Here I am cutting, fussy cutting out some of those butterflies. I had put some splatters down earlier which I was talking when it happened. That was in the Heidi Swap color Shine in Black. And then there's also a sticker down at the bottom. It says Travel Log. I don't recall what the sticker sheet is that that had come from. So, uh, where I had put down that rub on that ended up being brown, I cover ended up covering that up with a round chipboard piece. This is beautiful on it. That was also from the Bella Boulevard embellishments. I have not done, yet done that, but I am getting ready to. There it goes. So I had also put down these peach enamel dots. Those are from Recollections, and I believe I used up the pack on this layout. So that was pretty exciting. I love it. Love it when I get to use up something that I purchased. So I'm putting those enamel dots back down right here. This might have come from a sketch. If I didn't show it, then it might not have, but it looks to me like a sketch. And also, like I had said before, I've been in kind of a slump. So this design looks a little too neat for me to have come up with <laughs> being in the place I'm in right now. So. I wish I could give credit to the sketch, but if I didn't show it, I can't tell you. I don't know. If I had to guess, if it was a sketch and I had to guess where it was from, it would be Creative Scrappers because I've been enjoying a lot of their sketches lately. So you can head on over to that website and see what you can see. They do have quite a few very nice sketches over there. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down some silver sequins. I like to tuck them under things. It's the same thing I do with enamel dots quite often. And with the silver sequins, it just kind of gives a little bit of pop of shiny bling to it. And it's nice. After I do that, I don't think I do anything else to the layout. So thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.